Here is a display of a full band of FM broadcast frequencies from 88 megahertz to 110 megahertz. FM radio stations need a minimum bandwidth of 150 kilohertz and are required by the FCC to have at least 200 kilohertz guard bands between each, each of the stations to keep their respective bandwidths from overlapping. When FM signals are converted into digital signals, the differing signals are covered as are conveyed as either zeros or ones. This technique is known as frequency shift keying or FSK. Again, think of it uh, think of it as digital FM. FSK is used on some modern modems. Here is an oscilloscope time display of FSK. Note the zeros and ones of the lower signal traces, which are a different function as the, change, as, as the changes in frequency. With phase modulation, or PM, which is primarily a form of FM, the information wave modifies a carrier wave's phase. The amplitude and frequency do not change. PM is used to transmit color information in TV signals and other specialized functions. PM equipment is also less expensive than FM equipment. In the top illustration, note the resulting phase modulator uh, of the third or bottom waveform. And in the lower oscilloscope display, note the modulating wave in the middle of the, P of the uh, MP wave. Also observe that the sine wave's phase changes as a direct result of the information wave, while the amplitude and frequency say, stay the same. In phase shift keying, changes in phases are translated to zeros and ones similar to ASK and FSK. The last type of modulation that I'd like to talk about is called pulse code modulation, or PCM. Basically, PCM is a digital scheme for transmitting analog data. The, data, the signals in PCM are binary. That is, there are only two possible states, represented by logic 1 for high and logic 0 for low. This is true no matter how complex the analog waveform. Pulse code modulation consists of three stages. First, sampling. The processes that measure that measures the amplitude of an analog signal at multiple in, uh, instances. This is called sampling. The higher the sampling rate, the more closely the digital signal resembles the original analog signal. Second, quantitizing. This is the technique that creates a replica of the audio wave in digital format. Each sample is, covered, uh, is converted into its binary equivalent in a process called quantitizing. Third and last is filtering, which removes inessential information by limiting the amount of bandwidth that the signal requires. Using PCM, it is possible to digitize all forms of analog data, including full motion video, voice, music, telemetry, and virtual, uh, virtual reality. As I mentioned, stage one, or PCM sampling, measures the amplitude of an analog signal at multiple instances. Also note that the higher the sampling rate, the more closely the digital signal resembles the original analog signal. For example, 8,000 samples per second is a sufficient sampling rate for telephones because speech does not span a wide range of frequencies. However, for recording music or audio compact discs, a much higher sampling rate of 44,100 samples per second is required. 
The resulting digital wave is called a pulse amplitude modulated signal, or a PAM signal. Stage 2 PCM quantitizing creates a replica of the audio wave in digital format and each sample is then converted into its binary equivalent. Note the difference between the digitized analog signal at the low sampling rate, then at a much higher sampling rate. The signal with the higher sampling rate is a much closer representation of the original analog signal. The problem with PCM is, however, quantitizing introduces noise and digitized signals composed of quantitized value is not as precise as the original analog signal, which is made up of one continuous wave. The solution is called companding, which is the process of compressing and expanding the sampled signal at the lower amplitudes where signal-to-noise ratios has the greatest impact. The signal is then filtered. Here is a better illustration to make my point about compressing and expanding or compounding the sample signal, thus creating improving, uh, greatly improving the signal to noise ratio. Note the higher sampling rate at the lower amplitudes where noise has the most effect and less sampling that takes place at the higher amplitudes where noise has the relatively least effect. As I mentioned earlier, filtering is a last step in cleaning up the PCM signal by removing non-essential information by limiting the amount of bandwidth that the signal requires. Now let's go from discussing modulation to another very important signal processing technique called multiplexing. Communication systems frequently need to transmit multiple messages simultaneously as a group from a number of different information sources in one location to a number of users at another. Multiplexing schemes economically meet this need by combining the messages from several information sources, transmitting them as a complete group over a single transmission facility, with provisions at the receiving end for separation called demultiplexing back to the individual messages. There are two generic forms of multiplexing. Frequency division multiplexing, or FDM, and the second one is time division multiplexing, or TDM. Frequency division multiplexing, or FDM, is a method of sending multiple analog signals simultaneously over one channel by separating the channels into subchannels or bands. The carrier signal for each band is then modulated by an information signal, just like FM. A guard band, which is a narrow range of unused frequency between each band's frequency range, ensures that signals do not interfere with each other. FDM is an older, inefficient analog method of multiplexing, and its use in modern networks is limited today. Note that the device called a multiplexer, or simply MUX, multiplexes the data in the DMUX, uh, the, the D multiplexer or DMUX demultiplexes the data. Note that there is a DMUX, there is a MUX DMUX at both ends of the channels in this illustration, so the channel is full duplex communication or transmission back and forth simultaneously. Now another multiplexing process called time division multiplexing or TDM which is a digital technique, has replaced FDM, an analog technique, on modern networks. TDM is a signal processing technique that shares a transmission channel between users by dividing transmission lines and allocating to each transmission and receiving device or node a time slot during which it can be sent or received uh, data. Within that time slot, the channel carries data only to the designated receiving node. Note bits AA in time slot 1, BB in time slot 2, and CC in time slot 3.
Framing is a process of inserting special bits or bi binary digits in the data stream to indicate where one series of data carrying time slots begin and another ends. T carriers and Sonnet each use different framing and timing conventions. Cellular networks use TDM technologies. Statistical multiplexing is similar to time division multiplexing, but rather than assigning a separate time slot to each network device in succession, it assigns time slots to devices according to priority and needs. This method is more efficient than TDM because it results in fewer empty time slots. Wavelength division multiplexing, or WDM, enables one fiber optic strand to carry multiple light signals simultaneously. This is accomplished by dividing the channel, or glass fiber strand, into subchannels according to different wavelengths. Note in the illustration on the right that WDM usually requires multiple lasers or tunable lasers to generate optical pulses at different wavelengths. Today, dense wave division multiplexing, a version of wave division multiplexing, uses up to 40 wavelengths, and in the future it will, no doubt, be many more. Dense wave division multiplexing is one reason why we have tremendous capability in extending bandwidth and data carrying capacities in the long-haul networks. The other, of course, is the unlimited bandwidth of single-mode fiber. Now let's switch the topic from modulation and multiplexing to switches.